another day another problem so let's solve it hello guys i hope you are all doing well in this video i will show you how to solve the problem container with moss water so the problem here is that they give us a list of uh, height and they ask you to return the maximum amount of water of a container can store for example let's say we have this list of height so the easiest way to figure out the largest area possible given this set of height is to check all the height before each height and figure out its area and then figure out the largest area again. But the problem with this solution is that for each height we check all the height ahead of it that's going to give us a quadratic time complexity. So to solve this problem a linear time complexity means all of n. So the first thing we're gonna do is to create a left and right pointer. The left pointer gonna be at the start and the right gonna be a pointer at the end. So between the two bars and the flat surface between them, you can put water. Think of these two bars and the flat surface as the container's walls. If both bars are the same height, there is no problem. We can fill water up to the height of the bars. But if the walls are different heights, we can only fill the tank up to the height of the bar that is shorter. You can think of it as a rectangle. To figure out the area of a rectangle, we use the shorter line as the length and the distance between the two bars as the width. So the current area is width time height. We're gonna calculate the area of this container using left and right pointer. Then we're gonna compress the base of our container and recalculate the area again. So either move the left pointer to the next height or the right pointer to the previous height. So we move the smaller value between the the value that the left pointer are pointing to it and also the right so here the smaller line for example at the first iteration are seven so we move the left to the next value eight because when we make the base of our container smaller and recalculate the area we have to keep the highest line if we want the area to be as big as possible and we'll keep figuring out the area and moving the lines until they emit so let's look at the code the first thing we're going to do is to initialize a variable called and set the value area. to be zero after that we initialize two variables left and right the left going to be at the start and the right is the, at the end and we run a loop until the left is less than the right so the mean height is the shorter line between the left line and the right line then we update the max area to be the previous area and calculate the current area by taking the shorter lines that means the height and multiply by the width or the distance between the right line and the left line then we check if the height at index left is smaller than the height at index right if it's true we move the left line else we move the right line to the previous line And finally, we return the max area. So for the time complexity is O of n because we are iterating throughout the list of height and the space complexity is O of 1 means constant time because we are not using any data structure for intermediate results. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.